Once upon a time, there was a planet called Arts and Crafts, or the United Kingdom. The leader of this small planet, called William Morris, was one of the most influential designers of this planet and the Arts and Crafts regime. Through championing of traditional craft skills, Morris hoped to discover a cultural antidote to the Industrial Age. An architect from the planet of Vienna, called Adolf Loos, came up with a new idea of modernity. He repudiated the florid style of the Art Nouveau movement. Lewis attacked contemporary design as well as the imitative styling of the 19th century. He looked on contemporary decoration as mass-produced, mass-consumed trash. The architect formed the forest plant of Germany, Walter Gropius, influenced by these new ideas, aspired to create a new unity of crafts, art and technology in a school with an international and interdisciplinary orientation. With an innovative and interdisciplinary approach to art education, the idea was to furnish young artists with the theoretical and practical knowledge required to meet the challenges of the new age. He called it Bauhaus. The German architect and designer Peter Behrens was important for the modernist movement as well. In 1899, Behrens accepted to be a member of the recently inaugurated Darmstadt Artist Colony at the Matildenhof. This time is considered to be the turning point. He moved away from the Art Nouveau movement towards a sober and austere style of design. 1919 The Bauhaus is established in the city of Weimar. Architect Walter Gropius is the school's director. The ultimate educational goal was to apply all the acquired knowledge to the building. Yeah. Workshops. The core of the educational curriculum was the apprenticeship in the workshop, which offered a broad spectrum of courses including glass painting, carpentry, ceramics, metalwork, stagecraft, typography, photography and advertising. 1920. The basic course is established with the painter Johannes Itten as its master. All incoming students take this course, which deals with the principles of design and the nature of materials. Studies at the Bauhaus began with the obligatory preliminary course, which taught methods for working with creative materials, using a new and sometimes experimental educational approach. This was followed by training in the workshops, which largely dispensed with the division between theory and practice. The ultimate educational goal was to apply all the acquired knowledge to the building. 1923. Under pressure from Gropius, Itten resigns. Laszlo Mihuly Nagy becomes director of the basic course, which is also taught by Wesley Kandinsky, Paul Clay, and Joseph Albers. Mihuly Nagy's work centered on typographic design and experimental film. He resumed the same posts in Dessau. He left the Bauhaus in 1928 and established his own studio for typography, exhibition design, photo montage and photo collage in Berlin. In 1923, the Dutch distill movement and Russian constructivism begins to influence Bauhaus technology. Proponents of Distill sought to express a new utopian idea of spiritual harmony and order. The leaders of this movement was the painter, designer, writer and critic Theo van Dosberg and the painter Piet Mondrian. These influences of the Distill movement were mainly Malevich and Russian constructivism around the people Alexander Rodchenko and Lubova Popova. Thank you.